Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We will do our pronoun drill huh? three times, inshallah. Ready? Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. Huwa, huma, hum, Hiya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu one more time huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu mashallah now brothers and sisters i wrote down the verb dakhala what is the meaning of dakhala? He entered. But in the dictionary you will find to enter. But actually it is he entered. Because he is hidden inside. The file is hidden inside. Ready brothers and sisters? How will you conjugate? Dakhala, dakhala, dakhalu, dakhalat, dakhalata, dakhalna, dakhalta, dakhaltuma. Dakhaltum, dakhalti, dakhaltuma, dakhaltunna, dakhaltu, dakhalna. MashaAllah. See, when we do in sequence, it's easy. But then we are going to practice. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Huwa, dakhala. Okay. Hiya, dakhalat. De, hum, dakhalu. Hunna, dakhalna. Ana dakhaltu, nahnu dakhalna. All of you, antum dakhaltum. Sisters, all of you, antunna dakhaltunna. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That way we will practice. And in, then slowly, slowly, I will change into Muhammad dakhala. Fatimatu dakhala. Uh, we will change it. Huh? Al auladu dakhalu. Al talibatu dakhalna. Dakhalna. 
Uh, we are going to do later on. Uh, once, see, we haven't done plural. Very soon we'll do plural, and you will have a good idea then, inshallah. Uh, lesson by lesson, brick by brick, we will build our house, inshallah. Next one, brother, darasa. What is the meaning of darasa? He studied. He studied. Okay? He studied. Huh? Uh, dictionary to study. Ready? Darasa. Darasa. Darasu. Darasat. Darasata. Darasna. Darasta. Darastuma. Darastum. Darasti. Darastuma. Darastunna, darastu, darasna. Inshallah, because if we do every day a couple of exercises, inshallah, within a week or ten days, your mind will, inshallah, grab it and understand it. Okay, brothers and sisters, huwa, darasa. Huh? If I say the pronoun, you will give me the, the verb form. Huwa, Hiya darasat. Hiya darasat. Hum hunna darasna. Nahnu. What is the difference between hunna and nahnu? Hunna bada darasna. Fatah. Darasna. And nahnu darasna. So you must pronounce in a way that it is you know, easy to understand. Huh? So that the person who is listening knows exactly what you said. Hunna darasna. Nahnu darasna. See, there is a difference. Darasna and then darasna. Are you with me, brother? Huwa darasat. Hiya darasat. Hum darasu. Hunna darasna. Darasna. Ana darastu, nahnu darasna, anta darasta, anti darasti, antum darastum, antunna darastunna, ana darastu, darastu, nahnu darasna. Inshallah we'll practice. Because this is a new thing. Okay? And that's why I start in the beginning so that we practice bit by bit, bit by bit, and we become stronger, inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, we did our verb, couple of verbs, and we did the drill of uh, pronoun. Now I am coming to, I got to show you a lot of things. Yesterday we did nearly two and a half lessons. But, brothers and sisters, you got to write at home. Huh? Writing will make you perfect. If you shy away from writing, I'm afraid you will find book three are difficult, you know. But if you practice writing, you will love book three, inshallah. Okay. I wrote down a sentence. Hada jadidun. Okay, brothers and sisters. Hada jadidun. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla Ismiya. Okay, what do we look in Jumla Ismiya? Muptida and Khabar. Where is Muptida? Haza. Where is Khabar? No, what is Haza? It is a pronoun. Demonstrative? Uh, Ismu Ishara. In English we call it demonstrative pronoun. Okay? And all pronouns are definite. Remember, all pronouns are definite. That is why the Muptida is definite. Uh, most of the time, mutta will be definite. Most of the time, mutta will be definite. Very soon, I want to bring example from Quran in which mutta is indefinite, and I will tell you why. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, al baitu jadidun. What kind of a sentence it is? Ismiya. Where is mutta? Al baitu. Where is khabar? Jadidun. Okay. So, Hada Jadidun, this is new. The house is new. I'm pointing to the same thing. Huh? Now we put these together. Hada al Baitu. What is the English translation? This house. This house. Sentence is not complete. This house. 
What about it? Give me some news. This house is new. So how do we analyze in Arabic, brothers and sisters? First, noun is our muftada. Then what shall I? Badal. It is called badal. Means substitute. Uh, badal means substitute. Not badal. Badal. Uh, badal means cloud. Uh. Badal is substitute. How do I, you know, how do I explain that it is substitute? Brother, if I put my hand on baitu, what is left? Is hadha jatitun. Uh, so if I remove baitu, it still it makes sense. Uh, and if I do this, al baitu jatitun. So it is there, the sense is there. So then, in Arabic we say, al baitu is a substitute for hadha. So we call it badal. Muftada, badal. Badal of what? Haza. Uh, badal of what? Haza. And our khabar is there. Okay. Look at this sentence. <clears throat> this is here. Hadhil baidatu kabiratun. What is the English translation? This aim is big. Huh? So what is hazihi? Muftada. What is al baidatu? Badal. Badal. Because see, it came after ismu ishara. Sahi? And then what is kabiratun? Khaba. You got the idea, inshallah? How many ismu ishara we have done so far, brothers and sisters? Four. Haza, hazihi, zalika, and tilka. Huh? Later on we'll do more. Any time there is ismu ishara and then a noun which is definite coming after ismu ishara that noun will be most of the time badal. Most of the time badal. Okay? We will be studying examples from Quran and from the book. Okay? Now, since I have written this sentence, we might as well look at it. Hadihil dajajatu, this chicken, li binti fallahi. Fallahi is the farmer. Binti is the daughter. Huh? How do I analyze, brother? Hadhi. Hadhi. Mubtada. Mubtada. Al Dajajatu Bada. Now I have to look for the khabar. Uh, the khabar is not one word. Khabar is Jar Majur. So what is Li? Harf Jar. Huh? Harf Jar? Isam Majur. I have to have a Isam Majur next to it. So what is Binti? Isam Majur. Okay? And now, there is something more after Binti. So it is Mudaf, Mudaf ilai. So Binti, Hua Mudaf. Huh? Hua Mudaf ilai. If you will think of Hua Mudaf and Mudaf ilai, Inshallah, a lot of things will become very easy, Inshallah. Very, very easy. This is all very logical and very interesting. I found, found it very fascinating. Huh? Okay? Next one. Hazihi sa'atu. What is hazihi? Muqtada. What is sa'atu? Badal. Huh? Now we have to have a khabar. What is li? Harfcha. I need isam majrur. Ibni. So libni. Huh? So then, huwa muda. And then muda. But brother, if you can say these things, alhamdulillah. You, you have achieved something nice. Sister Fatima, is it clear? Huh? If you, I have a request. Brother, I admire your efforts. I admire your sacrifice. I have highest respect for your sacrifice and your dedication. And I am here to help you. If you do not understand anything, ask me. And I'll help you. I'll sit after the class to show you everything. Huh? Okay, sisters, if you'll ask me, I'll come and sit with you. And I'll show you. Brothers, if you will ask me, I'll sit with you and show you. So feel free to ask me. Huh? I am at your service. Now if you don't ask me, the loss is yours. Okay? Yes, Sister Salma? I have a question. Yes. No, we are not eliminating cover. Huh? No, we are not, Salma. 
See here I can say Li Harfcher Li Harfcher We got to find a simple way of doing it huh? Okay Li Harfcher Binti Ism Majur Then you can say If you were to write Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar huh? And then No Then you don't say Mudaf Because it will be too much repetition Then you will say Al Fallah Mudafili that is also okay. Maybe I'll give you a rough example of how you write it. Huh? Okay. Has he? Huh? I will say Mubtada. Are you with me? Simple. You, you can write a whole couple of lines for has he. We won't do it now. Okay. Has he? Mubtada. as We are in a very elementary stage. So we want to do simple analysis, just one word. Uh, uh, because that way our mind is getting used to uh, analyzing. Asatu uh, badal. Okay? Badal. It's badalun. Uh, now I say li harfcha. Harfu jarren. Okay. And then Ibni huh? Ism Majroor. Are you with me? Okay. Now then I can say Wahuwa Mudaf. Because I'm writing now, huh? I got a lot of space. Wa Huwa Mudaf. Sahih? And then I will say Libnil Mudir Al Mudir. Bada mudafilehi. Okay, now I don't have space, uh, but suppose I'm writing there, then I will say, uh, Libni uh, Jarun uh, Majrurun Wa Majrurun Jarun Wa Majrurun uh, Shibhul Jumlati Khabarun. Are you with me? You will. Everything is mentioned from page 23 onwards. You know, you got four pages of analysis. So, when you split it, you don't have to say Khabar, but when you combine it, you can say Khabar. No, no. We, you see, what happens, uh, uh, Sister uh, Salma, that because there is a mudafilay, first we just analyze it. Huh? And then underneath we say, uh, libni, uh, libni, okay, which is jar majur, shibu jumla, khabar. Huh? See page number 23, onwards. Huh? We have given simple explanation to you. Okay? There are four pages, huh? which should give you a good idea. Huh? Yes, Sister Naima? Ibni will be after Li. If Li Harfjar comes, what will be Ibni? Ism Majrur Khalas. Wahua Mudaf. Wahua Mudaf. You know, as Sister Mainaz now, mashallah, she is uh, quick to say Wahua Mudaf, which is excellent. Because it gives you an idea that the Ism Majrur is playing double role. On one hand, it is Ism Majroor, then on the other hand, it is Mudaf, because Mudaf Ilayhi is coming. Huh? Inshallah, I will explain to you, brother. We will do lots of analysis, at least verbal analysis, so that you have a good idea. Yes, brother Abdul Karim? What was the page number? G? The page number. 23. Where 23? Where? Handout. Handout. If you have handout, open your handout, page 23, brother. White one. Always keep your hand out handy. <laughs> huh? Keep your hand out handy right in front of you. If I say page number, you can... Brother, this handout has become very popular now. Uh, even uh, people who are in different uh, areas of Toronto but studying from a different teacher, they come and say, we want that handout. Mashallah. It means it does have benefit. Huh? Page 23 onwards. Huh? I 
request you to check it out at home, inshallah. Uh, you got it, page, huh? you got the idea, 23, 24, 25, 26. Four pages, brother. Huh? I, I'll keep this here. Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Now we again start. Adarsu Saminu. Lesson number? Lesson number? Eight. I have to do a lot of things today, brother. Hadar Rajalu. Hadar Rajalu. Put a line. Fatima, put a line after Hadar Rajalu. Now tell me what is Hadar Rajalu. What is Hadar and what is the Rajalu? Badal. Huh? Got it? Where is the Khabar now? Huh? Tajirun. Where is the Khabar? Ta. This man is merchant. We are still re we are re revising the page. 40, 42. We are revising the page 42. Vadalika Rajalu, Vav is Ataf. What is Dalika Rajalu? Put a line there. What is Dalika? Muptita. What is Rajalu? Badal. What is the Khabar? Tabib. Got the idea? Ismut Tajari. What kind of a compound is this? Mudaf Mudafilehi. What is Ismu? Muptita. Wahua Mudaf. And then where is the Mudafilehi? Tajirin. Okay. And where is the Khabar? Mahmudun. Okay. Wasmut Tabibi. Wow came. Where is Muftada? Ismu. Wahua? Mudaf. And then where is Mudaf ilahi? Tabib. Where is the Khabar? Sa'idun. Okay. Inshallah. Now we have another sentence. Brother and sister. Hadal baytu. What is the translation? This house. This, it is not a sentence. Eh? Because we don't understand what is going on here. So we need Khabar. Okay, so we say Hazal Baitu, put a line after Hazal Baitu. What is Haza? Muftida. What is Al Baitu? Badal. Where is the Khabar? Lit Tajri. Huh? So here there is no Mudafili. So you will write down Li Harf Chat, Tajri Isim Majru, Jar Majru, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Here you can straight away say Shibu Jumla Khabar. But when you have Mudaf, Mudafilei coming, then I showed you there are different ways of analyzing it. Okay, fine. Wazalika al baitu, wow ataf, what is Zalika? Mabtida. What is al baitu? Badal. And what is lit tabibi? Jar majru? Shibu jumla khabar. Got the idea? Here comes baitu tajri. This is a compound. Mudaf, mudafilei. Baitu tajri. Where is Mubtada? Baitu. Wahua mudaf. And then tajiri mudaf ilahi. Sahi, put a line there. Huh? And what is amama? Remember, it is not imama, but amama. This is a zarf in front. Amama masjidi. Amamal masjidi. So here, amama is a zarf. And we will say shibu jumla khabar. Okay, and then what will you say about the masjidi? Mudafili. Uh, after zarf comes mudafili. Sahi. So in this case, as you see, Sister Salma, we said amama shibu jumla khabar, and then we said al masjidi mudafili. Uh, okay, got the idea? Wa baitu tabibi baitu mubtada wa huwa mudaf tabibi mudafili. Khalfa, again zarf. Khalfa, shibu jumla khabar. And then what is al madrasati? Mudafilehi. Got the idea? Inshallah. Inshallah. Now in the handout, we have done khalfa zarf and madrasati mudafilehi. And then we are saying in the handout, shibu jumla khabar. But both will be correct, but more accurate will be. As we will learn in book 3, that Khalfa is a Shibu Jumla Khabar. And Madrasati will be Mudafili. Huh? Inshallah. But as long as you know what's going on, that is the important thing, brother and sister. Fine. Liman hadhi sayaratu. How will you translate this, brother? 
to whom this khal belongs to. Wa liman telka and to whom that. Okay. Hazihi sayaratu lit tabibi. Hazihi mubtada badal and then lit tabibi jar majru shibujumla khabar. Okay. Wa tilka and that one mubtada lit tajari jar majru shibujumla khabar. Fine. Hazihi sayaratu hazihi mubtada sayaratu badal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Minal Yabani Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay. Wa Tilka Tilka Muftida. Muftida. And Min Amrika Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay. You know, when you will, when we will go in book two and learn more, and then we study Quran, brothers and sisters, the intensity and power of the language will come to you. Like this ayah, you know, when I really understood it thoroughly, I was so pleased, you know. Lau anzalna hazal Qur'ana ala jabalin. La ra'aytahu. Every word has a meaning and a purpose in the sentence. What is love? Not L-O-V-E. <laughs> okay? Huh? What is love? When we learn, it will surprise you. And those who do not know language of the Quran, brother, they are missing out. They are only getting benefit, maybe one or two percent. Huh? Love is a condition. Huh? We will be learning Jumla Shartiya, conditional sentence. So what kind of a condition is that? These, these, these are the things we are going to learn. And if there is a condition, huh? if there is a condition, then there is a if there's a sharth, then there's a jawabu sharth. And all these things we will understand. And that is so beautiful, brothers and sisters. So very beautiful. Book 3, inshallah. Okay. Ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati. Tamarinu. Mamnu min as-sarf. Diptot. Tamarinu. Diptot. You can see one dhamma there. Okay. Man hadha rajalu wa man zalika rajalu. The answers will be from the, the lesson. Huh? Okay, brother. What will be the answer? Hadha rajalu tajirun wa zalika rajalu tabibun. Okay. Now we are not analyzing, but we can say this man is a merchant and that person is a tabib. Masmu tajiri. Ismu Tajari Mahmudun Masmu Tabibi Ismu Tabibi Saeedun You can write the sentence correctly Put the proper vowel sound signs Vowel signs at the end And inshallah you will not make a mistake You will not make a mistake Inshallah Min ayna sayaratu tabibi Sayaratu tabibi Minal Yabani. Wa min ayna sayaratut tajiri? Sayaratut tajiri min Amerika. Are you with me? Ayna baytut tajiri? See, baytut tajiri, these are all mudaf mudafilayi. Baytut tajiri, amamal masjidi. Wa ayna baytut tabibi? Baytut tabibi, khalfal madrasati. Got the idea? Ikra waktub. Now you have to write. Huh? You have to write everything. Brother. Hazal waladu khalidun. Translation. This boy is khalid. So what is haza? Mubtada. Al waladu badal. Huh? And then khalidun is the khabar. Wow. Ataf. Zalika al waladu. What is zalika? Mubtada. What is, what is waladu? Badal. Huh? And uh, Muhammadun is the khabar. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. I think it's nice we are revising. Huh? So that you will become very strong with the badal business. Huh? Okay. Hadha rajilu mudarrisun. If you wish, brothers and sisters, there are no vowel signs. Hadha waladu put a line. 
and Zalikal Waladu put a nine because that part is Mubtada. Okay. Now Hadha Rajulu put a line. Hadha Mubtada. Ar Rajulu Badal. So if you know that it is a khabar, then you will never say Mudari Sin. You will always say Mudari Sun. Because khabar is always marfu. If it is one word. Zalika Rajulu Mohandi Sun. Okay. Zalika Mubtada. Ar Rajulu Badal Mohandi Sun Khabar. Hazal Kitabu Jadidun. Haza Mubtada Al Badal and Khabar. Wazalika Al Kitabu Mubtada Badal Khabar. See the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim. You know, I have seen so many books, brother. Uh, and the author somehow uh, explains, but he makes. Every, brings everything together. And then we as a student, we get confused. In this, if Dr. Abdurrahim wants us to learn Badal, he will only bring Badal here, nothing else. So that every <coughs> sentence that we do just makes us more strong. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless him for his enormous services to the language of the Quran. May Allah bless him and give him long life. Inshallah. Fine. Hadhi sayaratu. Hadhi sayaratu. See? Mubtada badal. Now where is the khabar? Shibu jumla. How will you say? Li ali yin. Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. So sister Salma, there is no mudafili. I can straight away say shibu jumla khabar. Huh? Okay? Wa tilka. And that is li khalidin. Huh? So here it is only Muptada, no Badal. Li Khalidin, Jar Mazur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Hazal Babu, put a line. Haza Muptada, Al Babu, Badal, and Maftuhun, Khabar. Wa Zalik Al Babu, Mughlakun. So Zalik Al Muptada, Al Babu, Badal, Mughlakun, Khabar. Liman Hazi his Sa'atu. You will not say sa'ati, but there is nothing to make it majroor. Huh? Li came, only man became majroor. That's it. Huh? Liman has his sa'atu, to whom this watch belongs. Okay, what is the answer? Hiya. It is hiya. It is muftada. There is the khabar. Li abbasin. Jar majroor, shubhu jumla khabar. Ahadal baitu lit tabib. Tabibi, mashallah. Ahadal baitu lit tabibi. What is the answer? La. Hua muptada. Lil mudarrisi. Jar majur shibu jumla khabar. But then lil mudarrisi. Remember how lil is written. Hamzatul wasal has been dropped. Actually it is li harfjar and then al mudarrisu. Now li came. It will become al mudarrisi but you put together, you remove in writing Hamzatul Wasal. It became Lil. Huh? Because as it is, you are not pronouncing Hamzatul Wasal. Fine, brother and sister. Ahadhid Darajatul Ibn al Muazzini. Is this bicycle belongs to, does this bicycle belong to the son of Muazzin? Huh? So see, Li Harfjar. Uh, Ibni is a majroor, wa huwa mudaf, and muazzini, mudafili. Mudaf Got the idea? Inshallah, inshallah. Naam, yes. Man hazal waladu, who is this boy? Huwa talibun minal iraqi. So brother, here see, huwa muftida, talibun, one word, marfu, it is our khabar. So we got our khabar. So what will you say, Minal Iraqi? You will only say Jar Majroor. Nothing else. Jar Majroor. Okay. Azalika al Baitu Jadidun. Azalika al Baitu Jadidun. Is that house? Is new? Is that house a new? La huwa Kadimun Jiddan. Huwa muftada, kadimun khabar. And you see, jiddan is mansub. 
Huh? It is Mansub. So what is this Mansub now doing here? We will study in book 3. We won't do now. Just at the moment, we understand the meaning. What is the meaning? Very. Huh? V-E-R-Y. Very. Huh? It's very old. Huh? هذه السيارة من اليابان هذه مبتدا سيارة بدل من اليابان جار مجرور شبو جملة خبر وتلك تلك مبتدا and then what is the خبر شبو جملة جار مجرور خبر من سويسرا سويسرا that is Switzerland okay هذا السكين Haza Sikinu, Haza Muptada Sikinu Badal, Haza Sikinu Min Almania, Min Almania, okay, from Germany. Gotilkal Mil Akatu, and that spoon is from Minil Kaltarra, from England, okay. Now we have an exercise, we read the example. And then change the sentence according to the example. Brother, Hada Kitabun. Hada Kitabun. Hada Muktada Kitabun. Khabar. Now we have to make Hada Kitabun into Muktada and Badal. And then bring the news. So what is the example? Hada Kitabu. Li Muhammadin. So what is Hada? Muftada. Al Kitabu. Badal. And you said Li. Jar Mazul. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay, Badal. Very good. So we have to form these sentences. Very easy exercise. Very interesting exercise. Khabar is given to you. Okay, brothers and sisters. And just try to make a sentence. Hada Tabibun. How will you say now? Hadal Tabibu. Is it clear? Hadal Tabibu. And what will be the khabar? Minal Hindi. So as soon as you said Hadal Tabibu, Hadat Tabibu, not Hadal, but Hadat Tabibu, what will you say? Hada Muktada Tabibu Bada. That's okay. Next one. Hazihis Sayyaratu. Muptada Badal. Where is the khabar? Lil Mudiri. Jar Majur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Zalikal Waladu. Muptada Badal. What is the khabar? Ibnul Mudarrishi. Ibnu is your khabar. Huwa Mudaf and Mudafili. Fine. Tilkas Saatu. What is Tilkas Saatu? Muptada Badal. Muptada Badal. What is the khabar? Min Swissara. Okay. Jar Majur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. هذا البيت مبتدا بدل. Where is the خبر? للمهندس. جار مجرو شبو جملة خبر. هذا الكلام هذا مبتدا كلام بدل. And لي أباسن. لي جار مجرو شبو جملة خبر. ذلك الرجل بدل. Where is the news? Muazzinun. That person is a Muazzin. Muazzinun. Because when one word comes, no harfchar in front of it, no midaf in front of it, so it has to be marfu. Muazzinun. It will only become majroor if there is a harfchar in front of it, or it comes as a mudaf ilahi. Or if there is a zarf in front of it. There is nothing. So it is marfu, one word. It's one word, marfu. Huh? Very good, brother. Hadihil baidatu. Remember? Hadihil baidatu. Kabiratun. That is your khabar. Hadal mindilu. This handkerchief. What about it? Wasikhun. Marfu. One word. Hadihil hakibatu. Hadihil hakibatu. Lil. Mudarrisi, lil mudarrisi, lil mudarrisi, jar majnun, shibu jumla khabar. Very good. Ikra misal. Now this is the way we will form the question. Liman hadal 
kitabu. Remember, brother, it cannot be kitabi. Sometimes some students can make a mistake. Huh? Because they saw li in the front, they may say it will kitabi. No. Liman is jar majrur. Khatam. Okay. Hazal kitabu. Okay. Okay. So it is kitabu. What is the answer? Hazal kitabu. Li Muhammadin. Now we are using the harf jar li. Huh? Harf jar li. Okay. So now there is a picture and we got to form a sentence, question, and then give answer. What is the first column? So what will you say? Liman Azal Kalamu. What will you say? Azal Kalamu Li Abba Sin. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Brother and sister, I hope you will do it at home. Write it at home, inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Liman Hazal Miftahu. Liman. No, Miftahu is a Muzakar, sister Sukhaina. Miftahu is a Muzakar. Liman Hazal Miftahu. Hazal Miftahu Li Ali Jin. Okay. Now comes Muannas. Liman Hazi his Sayaratu. Hazi his Sayaratu. Lil Mudir. That Hamzatul Wasal will go, go away and you will say Lil Mudiri. Very good. Liman Hadhil Bakaratu. Hadhil Bakaratu. Lil Fallahi. Lil Fallahi. Liman Hadhil Hakibatu. Hadhil Hakibatu. Lil Mudarrishi. Liman Liman ha zal kursiyu Liman ha zal kursiyu Ha zal kursiyu Li ammarin Okay Next one brothers and sisters We already got it here Liman ha zihil Dajajatu Ha zihil dajajatu Li Bintil Fallahi Got the idea? Li Bintil Fallahi. Very good, brother. Now, the watch. Liman hazi his sa'atu. Okay. Hazi his sa'atu. Libnil. Libnil mudiri. Are you with me? Libnil mudiri. And we did analyze. Li harfchar. Ibni. Ibni. Li harfchar. Ibni. Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then al mudir. Mudafili. And then you can say, Libni, Jair Majru, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay? Fine. What is the next one, brother? Liman Hazal Baitu. Liman Hazal Baitu. Hazal Baitu, Lit Tabibi. MashaAllah. Liman Hazil Milakatu. Hazil Milakatu, Lit Talibi. Belongs to the student. Okay. Inshallah, now I will remove this. Okay, I, I want to, you know, tell you something, brothers and sisters. To acquire knowledge is obligatory. It's obligatory. The first word that Allah uh, revealed, Ikra, read, so that you know. Uh, so that word applies to us all the time. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, so, brother, it is so very important for us to uh, go ahead in our secular studies and our religious studies. Eh? We have to. No time to waste. We must always, always study, 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 you know. And I want to show, I want to motivate some of you if you are not very strong. Okay, brothers well and sisters. I am not good at drawing. What did I draw, brothers and sisters? A candle. What do you call candle in Arabic? Shama. In Urdu also? Shama. Or even Farsi. It's in Shama. Okay, brothers well and sisters. This Shamma 
uh, represents light, noor. And what does the noor do? It dispels darkness. Darkness is injustice and evil things. That is all darkness. And the light is justice. Okay, brothers and sisters. And where we know our responsibilities and we are striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our daily lives, in our actions of daily lives. Okay, so Noor represents that. Okay. When I was a very small child, uh, we used to have an assembly in the school early morning. <clears throat> and there, you know, we used to sing. 1,200 students singing loudly in the ground adjacent to the school, you know. And I never forgot that, brother. And I want to share with you <coughs> that. <coughs> Inshallah, you'll like it. Bala kar de Ya Rab Is khak ke zarre ko Sitara kar de Ya Rab Is khak ke zarre ko Sitara kar de Now brother, some of you do not know Urdu, so I will translate. Varmiye ilm, you know with the power of knowledge. Huh? with the intensity of knowledge. Huh? Ya Allah, make my every breath a very special breath. 